Thank you for watching another video by Impound Comics. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Brent Trey Sands, the writer and the creator of the Impound Universe, and we are back for another episode of the Impound Podcast with my co-host, Kyron Shank. What's happening? What's going on? How you been, brother? Good, man. How you been? I've been good, man. Welcome back, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? We, we have missed y'all a lot. You feel me? Like, damn, it's been a while, right? It's, it's been, been a minute. Yeah. You know, they probably don't see it as, as long. You right. Because we had episodes stacked up, Facts. but me and him have not sat down and recorded in probably a month. Yeah. Close to a month, yeah. if not anything. Yeah, we've been out turning up on some, you know, craziness. Anime Expo. Yeah, went just, to Anime Expo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 I went back Expo. home for a week yeah, or so you did, for you Stockton did. Con. Yeah, you, you did. Mm -hmm. You know, he was like back there being a hometown hero and whatnot. Yeah. You know, on the news? Yeah, it was on the news. Going crazy. You know, it's it's out there. It's like, get on the news now. I just ask. They don't even, it's not even like a challenge. Like, I just That's say, lit. hey, this is what I have going on, and it, and it always happens now. That's lit. Like, so it's like, it's dope that they support to, you know, that degree. Yeah, shout out to Sacktown, by the way. Shout out to Sacktown. You see, I got my King's hat on. I got the purple impound. <laughs> I usually only wear impound green. You know what I mean? But I had to do it for purple. And here's the thing about this, you know what I'm saying? Because we were actually supposed to be, you know. No, no, no. Here's the thing about it. <laughs> he been complaining about not having no impound merch. Coordinate. I go back, bring him some merch, and he don't wear it. Look, I have a defense to that. Yeah. Because, you feel me? I woke up late. You know, I had a lot to do today. It's 7 p.m. right now. You know, 7 p.m. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> I had to work out. So I was like, dang, like, I knew I was forgetting something. I had it in my thought. It was in my thought. That's the that that that's that's what should count. I had it in my thought. Just didn't execute. You know, it just, I just didn't execute. But you know what I'm saying. See, look, look, it says it on my shirt. It says I'm trying to be strong. It's Goku. <laughs> you feel me? But look. Having it in the thought, right? That's like, let's say it's the NBA Finals. You going to do this. And LeBron don't shoot the ball when the game's on the line. He's like, I had it in my thought. I he, just... But he hadn't. He, he, he didn't execute. <laughs> he didn't shoot it, though. It's like, okay, well, that don't help us that. <laughs> he had Kyrie to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> he had Kyrie to shoot. Shout out LeBron, though. Shout out LeBron. We're going to try to coordinate next time. Yeah. But he can't, he can't say I didn't do... <laughs> What I said I was on. Did I even text him back there? I was like, what size shirt you need? He could have told me that we was going to coordinate, but at the same time, I get it. I get it. I get think it. You know? just, yeah, Shout out yeah. to John Witherspoon, by the way. Rest in peace, brother. Because, you know, a time and a clothes got to coordinate. Yep. Coordinate. <laughs> <laughs> and I also, too, y'all ain't going to be able to see it from over there. I'm going to bring it up to the camera. Ah, ah, yes! Me and Kyron are throwing our first party, anime-themed First. In Los Angeles. If you are in the L.A. area, you got to pull up on us. We are doing something different for the culture. Facts. Both the anime culture and, you know, the urban black culture. Oh, you God. Know? This is something that's for everybody. And we have Killer B, my boy, Katero Colbert, hosting. Why don't we bring it up to the camera? Please bring it up to the camera. The voice of Killer B, y'all. From focus. Naruto. Oh, yeah. It ain't focused. Okay, there, uh, focus. there, there we go. There. You see? We got the voice of Killer B from Naruto coming to the function, along with some other hosts and special guests as well, you know, from the anime and comic world community, from influencers to, you know, the baddest, you know, women that we have, you know, seen. You feel me? But <laughs> and, and one of the things that kind of brought... Uh, people probably don't know, y'all definitely don't know, is the first episode that you've seen me and him doing an episode together, that was actually the first day that we met. You know what I Where? mean? Yeah. So um, we both come from the same world of, he's still definitely more active in the promotion world. Uh, he does a lot of e uh, events out here. And I started in the club promotion world as well. That was how I got good at marketing. But um, it's kind of like a special thing too where we're both club club rats. Yes. <laughs> I'm less as I used to be. But uh, yeah, <laughs> club rats and comic anime nerds at the same time. Facts. And bringing those cultures together uh, in California. So y'all yeah. got to pull up. And then, you know, even with, you know, him being in the, you know, promotion world, same same, same as I was as well. You know what I'm saying? I, I had started as, you know, promoting yeah. until... Uh, I didn't really like it that much. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homies that be promoting. You know, I really respect them. You know, respect that promoting game. But I had to kind of switch, you know, or pivot yeah. how I could be, you know, 
actual of use to the to, to that party world, to that you know Hollywood club world, whatever the case may be. So that's when you know I became an MC. Yeah, and you know hosting things of that nature has allowed many doors to open because as you know I'm an artist as well. Yeah, but now it's come to the point where um, we can bring this community, this anime, this comic book world community to a whole different level and a whole different platform yeah. to the point where, you know, his knowledge and my knowledge, it it's going to go crazy. And speaking of that too, just if y'all didn't, it's already probably out by now, but he is dropping a project called Anime and After Party. <laughs> yeah, Anime and After Party is July 26th, almost yeah. out. You know what I'm saying? The release event is July 25th. You know what I'm saying? You coming, right? I'm coming. They probably not going to see this before it happens. <sighs> yeah, unfortunately. Oh, you know. I mean, we're going to get it we're edited tell down. About it. Yeah, we're going to get it edited down as fast as possible, but realistically, this won't come out till next week. Yeah. So the week when you see it, know it happened last week, but also know the project's out so you can still check it out. Big facts. Big facts. That's all that matters. Big facts. Yeah. Man, I can't wait. I can't wait, man. So Deadpool I, Wolverine. Woo, I was just about to say. Who wins in a one-on-one -on -one fight between Deadpool and Wolverine? I'm going, I'm actually going, that's actually a good question. I'm going Deadpool. You're going Deadpool over I'm going, Wolverine? I'm going Deadpool. Because, I mean, if you if you really can, you know, think about it, like, my man can literally have some Animanium uh, swords, like, off the rip, like, Animanium, why, why am I saying that wrong? Um, I, I, I fuck, I'm fucking Animantium, up. there you go, there, brother. There we go, Animantium uh, katanas, and, I mean, just... Go for the jugular. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be hard. Yeah, it's hard to do so, but you know, um, no bitch. <laughs> yeah, I th you know, I think Deadpool has. Uh, I think he's a better fighter. You know yes. what I mean? In general, he's less serious. He plays the guy, but he also got a little bit of that tune forcey in him a little bit. Oh God, yes. <laughs> but not saying that's the version we're talking about. But we all know he does breaking the fourth wall and things. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I can still just say I think he'll beat Wolverine, though. I wouldn't say, like, that. I said it wouldn't be like a wash. Oh, no, it's definitely, like, he, yeah. Like, I'm going, like, like six out of four, damn near five and a half. Like, it's close. Like, I know a lot of people are going to talk about the time where Deadpool took out the Marvel Universe, even though there's context to that. People never like talking about context. He was upset about being a Marvel character. <laughs> like just, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. But I think, right. I don't know. I think, um... I think still durability wise, it will go to Wolverine. Well, not even think it has to. You know, he actually has an adamantium skeleton. This is facts. And um, he could shred Deadpool up, who Deadpool cannot shred him up. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, you have to still account for Deadpool's durability as well. I mean, the motherfucker can grow his limbs back. <laughs> I mean, he can go not, not not like, you know, of course, like instant. fast. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But you, you can't kill, you barely can kill the man. Even That's if both of them. That, yeah, that, that, that is both of them. But like I said, an animanium katana headshot so we're giving them prep time is what you're saying. I wouldn't say prep time. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call because like I said, Tomb Force 2 gets you be like, ooh, uh, he ain't got that much to right? Come on. He ain't pulling like Bugs Bunny stuff out of his back pocket. <laughs> well, just a little bit of a, a gag character in there. Well, he could pull a mallet out. They could make him a version of him like that. He, and he, could, he could pull a mallet out. I, mean, I don't know. But on top of that, you also have his guns too. Yeah. Yet it, it's, it's, it's to the point where he's, he's such a versatile fighter. Like it's, He's definitely more versatile. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be something as easy as. You know, let me just break these claws out and go crazy. Like, if you did watch X Men '97, you would have seen how my man's Wolverine, and I think it was Loki. Not oh Lord, I was about to say Gambit. Um, Nightcrawler. It was it was Wolverine and Nightcrawler. A scene with, I mean, goodness! Mwah, mwah. Shout out to the Emmy nominations, by the way. <laughs> just his his fighting style. He's su he's such a he's such a vicious fighter. But he can also be tactical as hell and very much so coordinated yeah. with them freaking claws. Yeah. So I'm not going to say that, like, like like we just said, it's not going to be a wash. But at the same time, I mean, you got these freaking Smith and, Smith and Weston pistols, automatics, just yang, 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 yang. What the heck? Uh, huh? I'm, 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 I mean, that's, that's how the gun sound. That's how the gun sound. That's how the gun sound. So I, I, I just think that... It would be a close fought match, um, but I'm, I'm I'm still leaning towards. I mean, I'm still leaning towards Deadpool. Okay. Right. Deadpool, I'm going Wolverine, man. Oh, we gonna see who. What y'all think? You know, you know, tell us in the comments what y'all think. So do you? So Deadpool and Wolverine is gonna save Marvel? Yes or no? Yes, yes. 
X Men ninety seven already has has taken. If we're gonna talk track terms, you know they were literally the third leg, and Deadpool and Wolverine is the anchor. Like they 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 gonna bring it on home. Yeah, you know they did the heavy lifting. Uh, X Men ninety seven did, and this is just gonna tie everything up as far as okay, we're back. Yeah, you know I mean we all saw if you haven't you know I'm not even gonna say spoilers. It's a freaking trailer. Uh, Brave New World, you know. Or uh, is, is, is it Brave New World? Captain America, Brave New World? They, they changed it. I don't know if they changed it to that or from that. I think that's what it's called now, though. Yeah, I think it's Brave New World. So yeah. I think they changed the name. Yeah, because New World Order sounded very, you know, I think I think they said Hitlery. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, don't I mean, it was, that's, no, Captain America is very Hitlery. That, that, facts. I mean, you came, you came from Hitler. It's the whole point of it. The whole point. So yeah. um, I do think that this will be a new chapter of for, Marvel. Yes. Like, Actually, them taking their time and giving us what we want. I mean, you already know the Infinity Saga took 10 years. So well, I would love for that to happen again. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. How you feel about it? Uh, Yeah, no, I think, I ain't going to say it has to succeed, but it definitely needs to succeed to give people, like, the uh, excitement and the confidence again to go see Marvel movies again. Yeah. Because right now it's not there. You know, it's like the core what? fans are just hoping for the best. Mm. And the people who were casuals who just joined because of the excitement of the MCU, they lost interest. Falling out. Yeah, they lost interest. Fell out. You know, I've seen that in just the world of comics in general. You know, um, when I launched Impound was in 2020. So we launched when Marvel was at its highest. Yeah, oh, just did Endgame. Yeah. Did, you know, um, uh, uh, Black Panther's new hype on top of the fact that, like, now Spider-Man was going to have... Yep. All the, the, the original Spider-Man come back. Mm -hmm. And so people were so excited for movies, Marvel, DC, comics in general, that that's kind of how we got started. Because like, they wow. were just looking for comics, looking for new things, and were finding us. Wasn't nobody excited about DC, but keep going. <laughs> <laughs> At that time, though, people was excited for going into the Justice League and stuff. They got unexcited. Because you got to realize, the movie Joker had just came out. This is facts. Yeah. Wonder Woman was good. When did Snyder, Aquaman was good. When, when did the Snyder Cut come out for Justice League? Was that was that during COVID? That was in COVID. Yeah. Yep, because I was showing my work and I watched all four hours. Yeah, I'm that was in COVID. You know, so we got to, we we launched in the best time of comics. That's dope. And um, that helped us out the, out the gate. But then as time went on, honestly, when Marvel started messing up and DC started messing up more, that started to affect the indies because yeah. these this new assurgence of fans stopped being fans. They stopped Thanks. caring as much. And it's like, if you can stop caring about the big time. Spider Man, yeah. you're gonna stop caring about everything in the genre. Thanks. So, you know, it I thought it would be helpful that they weren't doing as well. Because mm -hmm. I thought that that would make people want something new. Yeah. And they do to an extent. But the excitement is no longer there. It killed the excitement. From the casual fan and from the diehard fans, you know, myself, I actually, you know, to be quite honest, I, 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 I teeter-totter. Because, I mean, you already know what type of you know, work that I do and, and, and the stuff that I'm into. But, you know, when I do get the time, you know, of course, I'm, I'm brushing up on everything, whatever the case may be. I still love the community. I love the genre. But at the same time, you know, I do feel like Marvel just hit everybody with too much too much at one time yeah and the reason why you know of course us super fans you know we me i i i love a damn marvel movie i'm i will go see it the first day it comes out i did it for i did it for uh the marvels i did it for uh, uh basically every other flipping movie that has came out i don't care but i just feel as if even as the casual fan Marvel just spit too much. It's too much information. We can hold that information because we love this shit. Like, we love, like, to dissect everything to literally, like, go frame by frame, bar for bar, whatever the case may be. But, you know, it sucks for an indie standpoint because when too much information, especially this this ADHD world, ADD world, whatever the case. Um, Turn your mic towards you, too. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I, I know. I know. I know y'all can hear me, damn it. I know y'all yeah. can hear me. I was looking at the audio. Um, looking low. It 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 sucks because 
sometimes a lot of information can be overload. Yeah. And when it can be overload, it can be uninteresting. And even when I would try to explain it to, you know, actually, actually, you know, a shorty who I was talking to, because she she was interested. Yeah. Like the end game situation, dog. Yeah. I literally had her watch from literally Captain America all the way to Endgame. I ain't never saw, saw nobody cry in my life like that. <laughs> I mean, boo, who? <laughs> you know, though, though she didn't watch it how we watched it, you know what I'm saying, as like, you know, we watch it every year, what the case may be, you know, now it's because Disney Plus. But when I tried to get her to watch these couple phases from, you know, She-Hulk all the way from Loki, things of that nature, I mean, it was overload. Well, they went for quantity over quality. Definitely. They started just trying to push out as much stuff as they could, thinking, you need to fix that? No, 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 no I'm good. Gotta I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm good. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of like, you know, the, uh, I kind of, I kind of like doing this, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it made me look all professional and look, shit. Let me see what it look like. You feel me? There you go. But can you hear me? Yeah, no, you TikTok perfect. Live, what's happening, by the way? You're perfect, you're perfect. <laughs> I was like, you ain't got to, you ain't got to sit there the whole time. You know, you're going through some pain. I was like, let me get my boy right. We can, we can, we can take a look at in between. Yeah, take care of me, y'all. But, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it went quantity over quality. And they started just getting as many writers and as many people involved, and they lost track of the people who actually care. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things, and they're and they're doing that. They did that a lot in a lot of cases with Star Wars as well, where some stuff is really good, some stuff isn't. Oh, and, I'm lost. I'm lost. Yeah, and I tried. And it's just they remember when I said. I don't think that Dune is better than Star Wars, but the people who have Dune care about it more than the people who have Star Wars. And that's what was happening. The I could, people I could who were in possession of it don't care enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they're just like, that looks fun. That sounds cool. This seems witty. Yeah. Acolyte suck, by the way. Acolyte sucked. They had an amazing fight scene. I didn't care for it overall, though. They had Acolyte one of the best fight wings sucked. in Star Wars, though. Huh? Episode 5? It was like one of the best Star was. Wars fight scenes yeah. I've ever seen, though. Yeah. Not the best, one of them, though. One of them, one of them. One but other than that, it it was whatever. I didn't, uh, it wasn't for me. I, 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 I'm the person, I don't come into projects, like there's people who just want to be mad for the sake of being mad. Yeah. I go into stuff actually being open to the idea of it. I don't, I'm not one of those raging fans, like, oh, they're changing stuff. I don't care. I'm going to watch it and then decide, and it was whatever. I'm not, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, but I think yeah. it was The Mandalorian. Mandalorian, yeah. You do or you don't. Oh, that motherfucker. Oh, I was gonna say you tripping, yeah. Mandalorian is amazing. <sighs> now Boba Fett, that was trash. And I was hoping that Boba Fett was Every, gonna be fired. The whole world was hoping like, for it. I was like, Boba, oh yo. You know I, I might be a Star Wars fan again. <laughs> I had a I had a problem with Boba Fett well, even coming like, back. I already had a problem with I already was skeptical of that when I say that mm -hmm. because it felt forced from the gate. Because mm -hmm. I don't you you don't really watch Star Wars though. Nah, you don't know nah. Boba Fett's in? Uh well, not that I can recall. This is the old one. This is we're talking about oh, like back okay, back in the day. Yeah, the, like, the the third, episode three. Oh, episode three. Boba Fett Damn. dies. He's, oh wow. He dies. And they figured out a way that he didn't die to bring him back for the Mandalorian. Wow. So it was already Come on, you know That's what crazy. I mean? That's like, crazy. we watched him fall into the mouth, literally the equivalent of like on Dune, those giant sand snakes. Yeah. What is it? What are they Sandworms. Called? Sandworms. Yeah. I was a sand snake. He fell into the mouth of one of those. And then all of a sudden, now in 2020 or 2021, whenever it was, they show a picture that he fell into the mouth and he had a knife and he cut the knife. He cut his mouth up and crawled out. And that's how Boba Fett started. <laughs> like, get out of here, bro. That's get a get out, out of here. jail free card. And, and, the part with Boba Fett on why it was so terrible is, so Luke Skywalker threw him into that, right? Mm -hmm. He gets out, and he's not after Luke at all. He just gets out, and he's like, huh, second chance at life. I'm going to go to this city and be a proper gangster. No. <laughs> Boba Fett, the Boba Fett that we knew, he if he would have survived that. He would be out for blood. Man, he would have came crawling out that hole. Luke Skywalker is the only thing he's thinking I'm about. I'm getting it back in blood. Yes, <laughs> And he just comes out and like doesn't even like mention Luke almost. He just That's goes wild. about his life. That's just wild. like, huh? That's yeah, no, nah, that would have pissed me off. He already there was already a bounty on everybody, so he he's already gonna go after that. He's a he's a bounty hunter. Right. And then now he just he just let it go. That would have nah. pissed me off. Oh God, that would have pissed me off. Yeah, so that that wasn't it. That wasn't it for me. But see, that's why that's why I haven't gotten back into Star Wars because it's like it's so much. Like even from Rogue One all the way to you know this acolyte situation. Yeah. 
I I I tried to get back into it, and I, I was just like, man, like this. There's is... some good ones in there. Though. No, there definitely is. Yeah, I, I, Ahsoka I mean, was really really good. I didn't I didn't finish that. Ahsoka was good. Finish it. The, the the only complaint about Ahsoka was the first episodes. Uh, the fight scene was was awful. Like they just did, it didn't seem like they practiced enough, but it got really good as it went. I think that's why I stopped watching it. That first episode, that first fight scene, I was like, okay. Because I was like, what the... F I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what is this? What is this? And at that point, I'm like, I'm bored. Yeah, that fight while. scene was a little rough. But but it, it, okay. it got... So I should finish it. I yeah, should finish it. It progressively okay. got better. I'll finish sure. it. Because I think that's one of the main reasons why I'm like, yo, why am I looking like I'm looking at a Power Rangers scene right now? Yeah. Like, and it didn't it didn't start bad. It just got bad. It was the same. Like, like a lot of people really hate the new trilogy. I didn't care for... I hated the second one. I'll say that. Which one was that one? The uh, one where yeah, Luke Skywalker one shows up as a as a yeah. Hologram. That one was awful. Oh my god! Well, but I, the I, first I, one wasn't so bad. But it was like a New Hope clone. It was either the it was the Last Jedi. Okay, okay. I think that's I think that's what it was. But Rogue One, I absolutely that's my Rogue favorite. One was fire. Yeah, Rogue One's my favorite. Star Wars. I think it was Last Jedi that you that you're talking mm -hmm. about. Last Jedi, but like Rogue One was fire. As, Rogue, yeah, Rogue One was fire as hell. But again, like. I just I, I just fell out of it, but like I think that's you know a whole lot of you know Marvel fans, yeah, you know. But I am a casual Star Wars yeah. fan, so it's like okay, let me try. It. I see the I and see I the, and then get me, so I ain't staying. I'm not I'm not staying. Like you know, uh, what'd you think of the Captain America trailer? I'm skeptical. Really? That movie looks uh, amazing to me so far. Uh, I'm skeptical of the Red Hulk. Of the Red Hulk situation. Um, I definitely love Anthony Mackie. I definitely love the fact that, you know, we are now bringing in this Captain America. And then they had that dope line, you know, the, the one of the most amazing lines of Marvel, you know, like, you're not Steve, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, like you'll like you never be Steve Rogers type shit. Like, it was just... I know, you pop a dot. Like... <laughs> <laughs> so never Steve but, yo, like, you know, Harrison Ford, I mean, GOAT actor, you know... Like he's the perfect man to play, you know, General. Wow, I'm blanking on his name, um, but either either way it goes. Like I watched the trailer a couple times, and I like it. I definitely like it. I'm just I'm always skeptical of Marvel now, but I thought the trailer was amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Like for that to be the follow up of Deadpool and Wolverine, it looks like I'm, it's going I'm, in the right I'm, direction. I'm excited. I'm but I hope excited. it's I really hope it's great. Because especially because a lot of people were hating on Falcon and the Winter I know Soldier. It. Like people were acting like that show wasn't good. That was personally my favorite Marvel show. And that speech It was top was three for me. Chills. Top three. Chills, bro. I now I, I think people didn't like the villain. You know what I mean? And the villain was whatever. So I can understand that. But with Winter... I love Winter Soldier. So yeah. that's one of my favorite characters. Yeah. But Winter Soldier dealing with just his trauma. Not... Like them both feeling like they're not supposed to be Captain America. Right. One, because he just has done too much evil. And Anthony Mackie, because he just doesn't think that a black yeah. Captain America would Hold be accepted. Yeah. That whole controversy, that was like Great. beautiful. Yeah. Because the first Captain America uh, was so perfect. Yes. And it's like, how do you own up to Steve Rogers? And the thing is, is you can't. But even you even have before, to be somebody else. Oh, you're talking about who was Steve Rogers? Uh, USA. Yeah, uh, oh, you're talking about Isaiah. Man, yes, Isaiah Bradley. Yes, yeah. Isaiah Bradley. And his story and his reasoning. That's that's the part I wanted to Falcon harp on. Falcon and Winter Soldier was amazing. To me. That's the part I wanted to harp on because a lot of people didn't even understand when he went to Isaiah's crib. Yeah. Like they did like, yo, so who like who's this Isaiah person? I'm like, so y'all don't remember that the actually the first Captain America, he was black. But that ending of it all just to tie it up together like so many people were mad like you said so many people were like upset of this show and i'm like one half of y'all not really comic fans as y'all say that y'all are two y'all gotta accept it just accept it and uh, you know a lot of people also just get mad at the fact that you know captain america got passed to an african-american of course yeah i yeah. didn't argue with a few people on tiktok about that they say dumb comments. The dumbest comment about the Captain America thing that people say, they'll say, oh, if Captain America can be black, then a white person could be Black Panther. And I I, I broke somebody down so bad he had to just make his account private and stuff. It's like, 
when we're talking about Captain America, for one, you saying that, you're implying that black people aren't American, right? Captain right. America is not a mantle of ethnicity. It's a mantle of the best soldier who is American. That's all the only requirements. You're trying to go to Wakanda and act like the Black Panther mantle is the same. That's a position of royalty. So if you're not in the royal family, even if you're black, you can't be that. You know what I mean? This is a Facts. this is a royalty position. So it would be the equivalent of when Queen Elizabeth passed, if all of a sudden a black person took her spot in royalty. No, that can't happen either because that's not how it works Facts. with the royal what is it? Pro not progression. The, uh, the, the royal ascension. Lineage. You know, the yeah. lineage. You yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. But yes, that's that's a completely different thing. Ooh, um, but, you know, hairs. there is that too. The people who just, because, you know, Falcon's a, a black person that they, they had a problem I with it. I don't understand why people can be so stupid. Anyway. But it makes sense. This yeah. was a completely different thing. And uh, if he's good enough for Steve Rogers, he got to be good enough for everybody else. He has to be. So I am nervous about what this Red Hulk is going to be like. That's the only They're going to make him a monster. I... They know better. They, they've they known Ooh, now. I hope. Jesus. They've, Lord, I hope. they've gotten so much. Hulk slander has to be the the, the yeah. most that they hear. Yeah. That they hear, we hate what y'all deal with the Hulk. Well, on top of that, Universal still owns Hulk. Yeah. So it's like... I get it. Like, Marvel can only do but so much. No, no, no. They, they, they can make the Hulk however they want. They can't make a Hulk movie. That's the uh, only Ah, okay. So they didn't cool. have to do the Hulk the way they did him. Yeah, so... It, it just can't be a Hulk-titled film. They can, uh, that's why Hulk's in everything else. Yeah. So, you know, and part of their contract has nothing to do with the depiction of him. Okay. They just decided to mess the Hulk up. Okay. They went out their wild. way to give us a Hulk that nobody wanted to see. And I'm a Hulk fan. Right. So I was madder than a lot of people. Everyone's mad. But I was exceptionally mad. <laughs> exceptionally mad. Impound is green because let, of the Hulk. Let, 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 me, let me play devil's advocate for, you know, r real quick. Because what if, since we got, now we got Red Hulk, and let's say that they actually do do Red Hulk white. Who is to say this wasn't all part of a grand scheme to make Bruce Banner's Hulk come back? Come back and be vicious. I think that is what it heck. is. I think that is what it like, is. Like to really they they get cannot out. show us pro another Professor Hulk. I would be shocked if they showed us one more depiction of Professor Hulk yeah. unless he was getting ready to transform into the old Hulk. Yeah. Like, like don't show us Professor Hulk unless it's the death of Professor Hulk for the original Hulk to wake up. So it's like this Red Hulk I think they know they have to make him a monster. They yeah. have to. They can't do none of that funniness. None of that. Yeah, that's what I'm nervous. Like, like we want like old oh eight type Ooh. type of like Hulk, incredible energy. Hulk type 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 vibe. Like, see that's the see that's the Hulk I miss. I ain't gonna hold that that that, was that dope, fight bro. with with him and Abomination it was that, amazing. Lord. I remember watching that in theater when he broke the car in half and he yeah. was punching gloves. <laughs> I was like, that's why I love this character. Breaking boxing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. like, he gotta oh, be back man. a beast, man. I, I, I would be utterly surprised if they made Red Hulk anything other than a beast. I would be surprised. Mm. Because they're they're conscious of how angry they've made the audience. They're conscious of it now. You know, the owner of, uh, I mean, the CEO of Disney has already said there's not going to be any more projects that don't have hands-on, making sure it's right. He was like, we gave Marvel Studios too much freedom. <laughs> <laughs> we done gave y'all too much. Of, too they're much, like, we're not doing that no more. We understand. Put a leash on it. Come we here. We hear y'all. Come here. <laughs> we hear y'all. Okay, okay. So then, and if y'all don't want to have characters turning funky and funny for no reason, come on down to Empire. Come on to Empire. We listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, Red Hulk or Bruce Banner Hulk? Bruce Banner Hulk. He's he's he's, he's look. M it's, MCU though. MCU. MCU. I mean, we haven't seen Red Hulk. Paul. Well, give but me a prediction. If, if 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 the Hulk does, you know, fight Red Hulk, and we get something, you know. Take take it back, take it back here to Avengers, you know, first Avengers film when we see Hulk as a mindless freaking, you know, lunatic, um, versus what we think Red Hulk would be. Um, you know, that's gonna be a tough one. One thing I will say about the Red Hulk that we already seen, he gripped the shield and is bending it. I mean, yeah. Well, that too, but the I'm talking about the cover art. Oh yeah, he has the he's bent his his vibranium. Yeah, bending it, it looks like with ease. So, I mean, the Red Hulk is made to be stronger. 
But Bruce Banner's Hulk is going to overcome it if he ends up facing him. That's just kind of... I ain't gonna lie, there's a little bit of plot armor to... Ah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. But I'm going with Bruce Banner, Hulk. Now, if the Red Hulk is fighting Professor Hulk, Professor Hulk oh, is gonna get ass. beat down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go on, but, um, you know, the Red Hulk kind of got more uh, feats added on, too. Like, you know, it's like his skin is burning burning hot type facts. thing. Yeah. Um, but I'm just... Bruce Banner, you asking me about Bruce Banner with other Hulks. I'm going with Bruce Banner, Hulk. Every time. Always, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you give us Hulk, because see, that Avengers 1 Hulk was was was, was him. He was him, bro. Yeah, he that was, was him. He was he, he gave me reminiscences of 08 yeah. a little, little bit. You know? That was, was him. Like, okay. And then he got soft. Yeah. You know? Then I'm, sad, sad story. I'm just like, you know, and I thought, honestly, in Thor Ragnarok, I thought we were going to see, you know, that Hulk come back. And you know, end up that 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 iconic Thor versus Hulk type of fight, which it was cool, but like we only got like like five minutes of that shit. Yeah. Like, come on now, like it's, I love Ragnarok though. I ain't gonna Ragnarok lie. was fire. That's that's. We well, got to see Stormbreaker. Oh. Ragnarok is. I'm not gonna say Ragnarok is the best solo uh, Marvel movie, but it's my personal favorite. Okay, I feel like it's the best Thor movie. Like it's, it's definitely the definitely best, Thor, best movie. Thor movie. I didn't even like Thor like that until that movie. Yeah, like Thor was Thor was cool. You yeah. know what I mean? And I like uh, Chris Humphrey. Yeah, but I just those movies were just boring. Thor was just bit way too Shakespeare type of a character, and uh, Thor Ragnarok found a good balance between comedic action movie. And then they just went too far with Love and Thunder. And, Love yeah. and Thunder could have been epic because Christian Bale. Christian that, Bale did his thing in that. That movie. man, the God Killer. Ooh, I'm like, oh, this movie about to be ignorant. I loved Hella too. Though, and you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no, no. Hell, oh my God. Hella I wish we had more time perfect. with Hella. I wish. I yes, wish it wasn't. Uh, yeah, I wish Hella wasn't gone after that movie. I wish. But home let me say, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Down to the last. Minute. Down to the last minute detail. <laughs> Like, and it's yo. always like that TikTok trend, and then Bro, it's, you always see it's like, whoa! And he goes, That's why he's the goat. He goes, That's why he's the goat. Yeah. The goat. And then what is it? The Rock. It's the biggest it's piece, piece of, of dog, dog shit. shit. There's one more we're missing. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, I mean, it's all right. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, it's it all right. The dude eating the chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, man, like Helen, Helen was just perfect down to the last minute okay. detail. Who will win on a one-on-one -on -one fight between Hella? Or the Kryptonian girl on Man of Steel. The Kryptonian girl from Man of Steel. Uh, the one that Superman was fighting. I don't know her name. Uh, a sh shorty that was cool with uh, 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 Zod. Yes. Uh, ooh. Ooh. I, I might have to go. I might have to go shorty. She's Kryptonian, dog. Like, how, I mean, well, shit, wait, but but, but hell is magic. She... Oof. Wait, give me like two, 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 two seconds. I'm going hella. Just based off, just based off magic, and she's a freaking goddess of death. Like, oh, hella. Yeah, yeah. I'm going hella. Like, I think, she, I think hella. You know, she mean boy. But one, it also depends on where they fighting. Because a Kryptonian can't even take her mask off. She ain't Superman now. Facts. So she's not even adapted. Yeah, she hasn't but, adapted to the atmosphere like mm -hmm. that. And it's just hella showed no other than you know the apocalypse, the prophecy. Yeah. Thor wasn't even willing to, I mean, able to hurt her. Like, I mean, Lily cracked. He was doing the, the, he even said, Mjolnir. I hit her with the biggest lightning strike I've ever done, and it did nothing. And cracked Mjolnir. Not cracked, broke Mjolnir. Yeah. No, I, with I'm, one hand, just. I'm going with Hela, for sure. Like, I, like, she's just different. She, I mean, she damn near, what, what, what she commanded, she commanded the Valkyries at one point. Well, she, her magic comes from um, um, Asgard. Yeah. So she only dies with the planet. So that's why she mm. was defeated. Yeah. But like if if they don't kill the planet, she's I ain't gonna say she's limitless, but she's damn she near damn limitless. Near there. She's yeah. damn near there. Yeah. You know. But I mean shit, bro, Stormbreaker was, you know, on that ass. You know, so it's it's like she's Against another god, I mean, it, it kind of is what it is, you know, Thor versus Hela. But Hela versus Shorty, yeah, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, I'm going with Hela. I'm going Hela off the rip, like. The only advantage the Kryptonian has on her is speed. But I don't think she's strong or durable enough. I yeah, I mean, like, she'll probably get a couple licks in yeah. based off speed alone, but then she'll eat that shit. Yeah. Read the moves. She and ain't then, Superman. Like, a fax. That's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll just say, look, oh, y'all, check this out. 
going to Comic-Con. San Diego Comic-Con coming up this weekend. I right. got invited to a few things, like Impound Comics as a whole. Not just right. me. He got invited with me. You know what I'm saying? But it's like... <laughs> I'm a tag along basically. <laughs> a freaking stepchild. That's what you know, we're gonna get his leash together. We're gonna get everything. Wow. Right. You know what I mean? I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him a little hat with a little sippy on the side. That's crazy. And that's crazy work. Together. That's crazy work. What y'all say? That's diabolical. What in the, a sippy cup? My but it's, boy. This is this is it's San Diego Con. Yeah. And we were emailed invitations to to events. That's huge. Yeah. You know, I never, that didn't happen last year or the year before. There's people in the bigger, you know, that's the upper echelon of cons, and they're like, Impound Comics, come through. Like, it's happening. You want to tell them the, uh, one, of the uh, one of the special invites before I get all giggity and hype? Well, yeah, yeah, I'm seeing, we're seeing uh, the the first look at uh, Penguin series. Yay, yay! So, yeah, we were we were invited to watch uh, Penguin. <sighs> shout, so, out to, shout out to Colin Farrell. Shout out to, you know, mm -hmm. Robert Pattinson, you know, the Batman, which... In my opinion, is one of the top three Batman, you know. Top three. You, gotta, yeah, you just bro. gotta start. Uh, you gotta start saying his name right. All right. What 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 what's his name? Robert? Pattinson. Pa Pattinson. What I say, Robert Pattinson. You always pay Pattinson. Uh, whatever. You said, you said Twilight. That on, you said that on episode one. I did. Twilight. <laughs> Twilight. Twilight. You know what I'm saying? Think top three. Top three. Edward Cullen. Top three. I like him though. He's tight. All right. Yeah. To yeah. me, to yeah. me, he's a great Batman. He's bro, an amazing Batman. He played bat like this was this he's the most Batman comic was, accurate Batman. Yes, it was, this, like this was Batman year two, low key. Like this was he was still in his brute twenties, you know, being rude to Alfred, you know, thinking he just know every damn thing in the book. But like he played him so well, like I honestly would have. He went great both ways because I would have liked him as Terry McGinnis, you know, right. for me, like a Batman Beyond. Oh yeah, we ain't getting that. I know. You know, they released concept art. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, it looked like Spider-Verse. Yes! That would have been, been amazing. fire. Yo, uh, if they did a Batman Beyond and Static Shock appears in it, it's going to go. Animated or live action? It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, it does matter because a live action, if they fuck that up, I'm... Uh, the yeah, Spider -verse animated with action, Goldverse. Yeah, it, 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 would, it would dope. But, like, but I think that that would be fire. Like, man... I I mean, he's the only Batman that I truly love in the sense of like the character. Yeah, you know, because I usually like the villains in Gotham more. I, I, facts, I'm not really a which Batman. is why Colin Farrell got the Penguin. Mm -hmm. You know, Penguin. I love his depiction of the Penguin. Good Lord, like, and you know, no, no shade to you know the the OG Oswald Cob Cobblepot. You know, the the very first Penguin was uh, my man Danny DeVito. He was dope, and he you know he played played that great. No, it's, and see, you know, for me, yeah. it's not the. His acting was fantastic. Of Danny DeVito did an amazing thing. Yeah. I don't, it's not the acting of Colin Farrell. I like that they made the Penguin more like... Human. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like he's an Italian mob boss. Yeah. Because I never looked at him like that, but why wouldn't he be like that? That right. makes sense. You know? So I love just how they wanted to portray him differently. Right. And they went in a like route... Not like with a fin. <laughs> yeah, not a literal Penguin. That's yeah. just his nickname. And... It's like The Sopranos in Gotham. Facts. That was genius to me. So I really hope that this series is amazing because I'm looking forward to it. Oh God, yeah, like, and and now that you say that a Soprano type vibe like in Gotham, that's that's basically what I mean. Yeah. Even, even an animated series, that was like that's how it was. It was yeah. literally like a Sopranos in Gotham City. I mean, from you know Chucky e. Saul to you know uh, what's dang, dang, what's the big man's name? Um, I forgot, but. That's the type of live action for the bad guys in Gotham that I've been wanting to see, yeah. like a legit crime syndicate. Yeah, that'd be dope. You know what I'm saying? It's so, going that way, so we hopefully it's right, man. Yeah, we gonna film the experience, y'all. We gonna yeah. film it, man. I been, can't wait to Comic Con, boy. It's one of my <laughs> favorite things too. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to go either. Shout out to Comic Con for some invitations. Yes, but other sir. Than that, brother, Sorry. that's all I got for this. Yeah, that's all I got, man. How you feeling? Again, listen. Show it again. Our own party. <laughs> <laughs> Live, I know y'all see this too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Live, see that? Yeah. The focus, the focus. There it goes. Yeah, yeah. My, mine ain't probably focusing, but hey. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I'm Brent Trey Sands, writer and the creator of the Impound Universe. This is my co host, Kyron Shank. Love y'all, man, for real. Until next time. Keep supporting, keep liking, keep sharing, keep arguing, whatever the case may be. The love that y'all are showing us this far has been, you know, Great, fantastic, especially, you know, for this podcast. Again, my brother, I thank you for putting me on here. But, you know, it's, it's, 
They hearing us, y'all. They hearing us. Till next time. Yeah. Thank you for watching another video by Impound Comics. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.